Lelish, or Vladislav Sirodov, is a model and interpreter from Russia who came to China and almost debuted in Idol Boys Band. He's the person who never asked for fame, but in 2021, surprisingly became one of the most discussed celebrities in China and abroad. Today, we're going to tell you about how does Lilish live and how much does he earn. But before we begin, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Vladislav was born in Russia on the 23rd of January 1994. He doesn't have siblings and the only thing we know is that his mother works in a medical sphere. His parents like traveling. They traveled to different cities in Russia and visited a couple of Asian countries. One of them was China who left a strong impression on the boy and helped him decide his future specialty. He entered Far Eastern Federal University where he majored in international economics. The future superstar also had an opportunity to learn Chinese in Fudan University and obtain a master degree in Liaoning University. After the graduation, he stayed in China and worked in different spheres until he got into a trap of Chinese survival show produced 2021 or Chuang 2021. From this moment, an ordinary model from Russia became the main hero of online memes worldwide and his funny quotes were viral in social media for months. The growing popularity gave Lelish many working opportunities. Although he's not very active on Instagram, he already has 500,000 subscribers there. Now, he earns from advertising and modeling projects. The star mostly shows his everyday life in Weibo, Chinese online platform, where he almost reached 4 million subscribers. Recently, he partnered with La Roche Posay and Pepsi, posed for Marie Claire and Vogue, got invited to many entertainment shows. There is no official information about Lilush's approximate earnings, but it seems that he enjoys his popularity and has everything he needs. In July 2021, when Henan province suffered from severe flooding and heavy rains, the star has contributed $15,000 in order to help the victims of this terrible disaster. His fans highly appreciated and praised the model for his gesture. Lilush is known to be a very close person who doesn't share any personal details and hates when someone crosses his personal borders. That's why fans have no idea where the model lives or whether he possesses any accommodation. Furthermore, the procedure of buying a property in China is quite complicated, especially for foreigners like Lilash. So many people assume that he can rent a flat in Beijing and book hotels when he works in other cities. Having many fans all around China and abroad, the model's private life is a hot topic for discussions. During Produce Camp 2021, some shipped him with one of the program mentors, Nana, a member of Chinese idol group Bon Bon Girls 303. However, this information was never confirmed. After the show, there were some rumors that Lilash fell in love with an employee of the Hong Kong company Uranus Entertainment. It was believed that he even got a job there in order to see the girl more often, but he never shared a photo or provided any evidence of it, so the fans keep speculating and waiting for more update from the star. Lilash was always interested in fashion sphere, so his dream is to design his own collection inspired by Russian style. Being one of the most popular foreigners in China, he's certain to succeed. Now, the model is working hard and gathering money to make his dream come true. That's why he doesn't hurry to buy a car or a house. Will he buy something like that after the successful launch of his collection? Who knows? If you still wonder why that Russian boy decided to use such strange name as Lilash, which doesn't seem to be a Russian name at all, remember that this stage name was chosen randomly. Moreover, Vladislav doesn't sound like a name that can be pronounced by Chinese people, right? He had no idea that he would become famous by this name. So it was quite simple. He chose the name of his favorite anime character, Lelouch Lamperouge from Goat Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. That's how the Russian version of Lelouch was created. Chinese TV show Produce Camp 2021, where Lelouch received a huge attention from the audience, became a trap and a blessing at the same time. Let me tell you the story from the beginning. Imagine you're a model who works in China and has a good level of Chinese language. It's the beginning of 2021, so you can't come back home because of quarantine. Suddenly, your good friend, a CEO of entertainment agency, suggests you to accompany two Japanese trainees to the show audition as they can't speak Chinese. You agree and come to the set. You're almost done with this job, but the show producers discover that they lack one participant. And at this moment, they see you, a good-looking, tall foreigner who will definitely provoke some kind of discussions and positive influence TV ratings. They approach you and gently ask to join the show. Will you agree? Remember, you have no interest in singing or dancing, and you'd never dreamt of becoming an idol. Whatever you chose, we know that Lilash agreed, but only on the third try. 
The model was sure that he would be eliminated after the first episode, as he had no experience of stage performance. For casting, he had chosen a mournful, meaningless Russian rap song and got the lowest grade from the mentors. However, the audience liked his performance, and he made it to the next episode, which was a complete disappointment to Lilash. The person who had never loved dancing or singing had to do it 20 hours a day. It's not a surprise that this so-called idol did his best to escape from the show. He didn't listen carefully to the mentor's recommendations, he used every opportunity to sneak out of the rehearsals, kept a dull and frustrating face, and honestly, shared his opinion during the interviews. For example, when his team got the lowest F mark, he was the only one happy person in the room. He said, quote, F means freedom. It means I can go home. The only way to leave the show is to be voted out because, according to the contract, the participant who leaves the show by himself will receive a fine. That's why the Russian boy begged his fans to stop voting for him and give the opportunity to others to debut. The Chinese audience found his performances and behavior funny, so they kept voting for him. Fortunately, Lilash was placed 17th in the final episode and wasn't included into the final lineup, having the opportunity to finally escape from the show. Actually, nobody expected Lilash to become that popular, even the show producers. However, his cold looks and unstoppable desire to go home received big attention from the public. The model had his own theme song, Lone Ranger, on the show, and his quotes like, I'm tired, save me, and I want to go home were used as memes all the time. Many fans assumed that the Russian guy was one of the reasons why Produce Camp 2021 got a high viewership. Speaking about Chinese audience, it seems that they really enjoyed watching his awful performances. His fans are called Sunsi or Bamboo Shoots, and they're considered to be the cruelest fandom. Why? All because of crazy voting. Lilash had repeatedly asked them to vote him out by saying, if you love me, don't support me. However, for international viewers, especially Russian-speaking ones, this situation wasn't a joke at all. The hashtag Free Lilash was the first in the trends of Russian Twitter. Besides that, the show received a lot of criticism and was accused of human rights restriction. Even though Lilash seems to be cold-hearted and arrogant, one of his friends from Chuang 2021 revealed that he's actually very caring, hardworking, and shy person. He behaved like lazy and rude only to leave the show. When the trainees were evaluated as teams, the model was trying his best to show a good performance, so his individual ranking couldn't influence other participants. Before the show, Lilish actually changed a lot of professions. He worked as a buyer and sales agent, translator and model. Moreover, he taught Chinese to foreigners and even got a nickname Teacher Lee because of that. The funniest thing is that he had never worked in the sphere of international economics where he got a degree. His modeling career changed significantly after Produce Camp 2021. He appeared in Harper's Bazaar, Madame Figaro Mode, Cosmopolitan, and Grouch's Covers. He also got his first small role in Chinese movie Harsh Gold, which will be released in 2022. Now, the star guests many interviews, works as a model for Gucci and Prada, and dreams about his own brand. 